Could you give us a tour of your body in terms of um, uh, tattoos? Don't you have a few? Yes, I do. How would you like, what kind of a tour would you like? Would well, you like the cheap tour or would you like the expensive tour? <laughs> the guided one, I think. Uh, well, I mean, no, but mean, I mean, every man, the first thing he wants in a woman is tattoos. Of and so course. I mm -hmm. thought it might be interesting to know why one gets them. I don't know why. It just seemed like the thing to do. I'm very impulsive. And uh, I have three tattoos now. Any, any, I, I can't see any, any, any of them. Well, that's because you can't see any of them. <clears throat> uh, I have one tattoo here on my ankle mm -hmm. of a chrysanthemum. It's a Japanese tattoo. Is it, was it done by a Japanese artist? No, it was done by a, an American arti uh, artist that um, studied it with a Japanese uh, master. Tattooing in Japan, as you know, is a little bit different. It's not mm -hmm. like Mom and, you know, Hell's Angels and all that. They're, people are very serious about their tattoos there. And uh, so I have this one here, and then I have a beautiful tattoo about here mm -hmm. of a, um, what is that? <laughs> a, a tiger lily, a lily. It's beautiful. Oh. And then I have one tattoo behind me. How far? <laughs> Very far behind Way me. Way back there. Yes. Yeah. And, uh, and that is um, flowers and uh, a butterfly. Mm -hmm. Is it excruciatingly painful? Or does it no, I don't find it no. painful at all. Yeah. But it's I don't know. Some people, I mean, you know, it, it's not as strange as people might think. I mean, over in, in the history of man, tattooing has been more the common thing to do than the uncommon thing to do. I mean, there yes, are. There, it was you know, unusual not to have one. Right. Uh -huh. So, and I don't know what makes people. I mean, I can understand people. Like my friend said, we're well, never going to get to a Jewish cemetery now because it's against the religion to be tattooed. And if you're, if you're, you can't Jewish. be in consecrated ground or something if right. you've been tattooed. Uh, I don't really know why. I would never recommend it to anybody. But since this body belongs to me for however long I'm here. I figured that I, I liked it, and I don't really know why. It just seems beautiful to me in a strange way. And I mean, I'm, I'm sure it's crazy. I mean, I'm sure it doesn't make any sense to anybody, and, and, uh, and I wouldn't recommend it, but that I liked it. What, what do you recommend? If you're I don't recommend anything. I recommend Levi jeans. That's about the only thing that I can recommend. <laughs> the old jeans. Yes. Yeah. But uh, it put a lot of people out of work. Uh, but. Uh, you know, you were talking the other night about how people have images of you, of what you're like, and she's, some people think you're a freak, and some people think you're zany, and some people probably think you're uh, drug-riddled, and all those things that they think of as being, in any sense, connected with the music world, rock, and so on. Uh, when I say, do you have any morality, I don't mean it funny-like, but do you have a, a moral code for yourself? Um, Yes. In terms of uh, it's not one that I think about all the time, but I, I really I try and be nice to people, and I try and tell the truth, and I think that those are the only c things. I mean, not that I'm nice constantly, because God knows I am I'm a bitch on wheels sometimes. You know, I just you mm -hmm. just are, but I really try to be nice, and I try to um, always tell the truth and and always think about what I'm doing and make sure that it's you know that I really can do it with good conscience. What about all the tremendous opportunities in the business that almost nobody can resist when they get as successful and famous and are as attractive as you are to, to freak out? Did you have any tendencies toward that? I mean, today, morality means, if you're conservative, it means you only have an affair with one person at a time. Um, I was reading something. I did that People magazine, and this man wrote in in those letters. I was really interested to read one of the letters, and the guy said, you know, that I was... Um, promiscuous in a way, which I thought to be kind of hysterical, but um, I, I really, I'm, I'm not very promiscuous, and I don't know why. I, sometimes I'd like to be, but it just doesn't work out that way, you know? Mm -hmm. It just doesn't. I can't just meet someone and shake their hands and say, all right, where's the bedroom or the floor or whatever, you know? Uh, but, but, you know, I mean, I don't, I don't have, I mean, I don't really care what anybody else does. I mean, it's not, you know, whatever people do is their own business. I just kind of, uh, I try and kind of stay very straight because I'm afraid that I might have a tendency to be crazy if I ever really went off. Mm -hmm. But then I don't think I really would be. All right, did I hear you say one time I, I inherited a sort of Puritan streak from my old man? No, I don't think I, I don't know what I inherited that. from him. I think I inherited from my mother who was married eight times. They don't, the two don't make a lot of sense, but my mother mm -hmm. is kind of, a, a, puritanical in a way. Yeah. 
Could you ever save anybody else, do you think? You knew Janice, I'm sure, and maybe Jimi Hendrix and some of the other people who, who bit the dust in the drug years. Did you ever feel any obligation to try to straighten them out or No, tell them I really don't. No, I don't. It's like kind of none of my business. I mean, mm -hmm. if someone was like a really close friend, I've had a few close friends that I finally just said, you know, you make me sick, get yourself together. People can really, I mean, people can only do something that they want to do, and it's really none of my business to make people uh, do anything that they don't, you know. If you want to take drugs, that, that's what they want to do, and they will do it. Mm -hmm. now, I mean, all your good intentions don't mean anything. Yeah. But the music business, where, where would, should we really put you in what category? I, I don't think of you as a rock star in the sense of, um, although you music with a rock beat, you were never really acid rock or even several steps down from acid rock, I suppose. Do you think of yourself as a pop singer who was also popular, uh, happened to be popular in the rock era? Yeah, yeah, kind of. It's strange, it's hard to put me anywhere and yet mm -hmm. I'm here. Yeah. Can you write? Yes. How's that feeling? I'm really good. Yeah. I'm really a good writer. Uh, I think someday when I um, get tired and slow down, I might do that. What would you write? It's fiction? I think I, I would like to write... I, I don't know. I, first, I would write something that I really n knew about. And uh, I wrote what, a television show that I did, and I wrote a lot of, of that. And I was really pleased I got into the Writers Guild, and that, which for me was like the best card I have because I, I, you really have to write something to get in there. Yeah. And uh, I, I don't know what I could do. I'm very interested in religion, and I think someday I might write something about that. Interested in it mm -hmm. without practicing it? I practice it in my own way. I'm not an, I'm, I don't belong to an organized religion just because, to me, I know I'm not going to make a lot of friends with this, but to me, organized <sighs> religion is kind of like country clubs that people belong to, you know? And I just think that people are all this is, this is going to sound really weird, but I, I feel like I'm every person that I've ever met, old people, young people. I feel really connected to every person I've ever known. And I feel that religion is one of the single most causes to divide people up for no real reason. Yes, it's often a, a way of dividing or excluding people. Or... I just don't believe that there's any real reason for it. I'm sure if God exists in a certain way that we feel that he does exist, I think that he doesn't really care one way or another what religion we belong to. You know, I can't imagine that if you're not a Catholic, you're not going to get into heaven if mm -hmm. there's such a place, you know, mm -hmm. or that a good woman or a good human being is any better because they belong to a certain faith. It doesn't make a lot of sense to me. If you knew you had a fatal disease, do you think you would pray? Sure. I mean, I don't have a fatal disease now, I don't think, and I, and I pray. Mm-hmm. Oh, you do? Yeah. yeah. So you're religious in that sense, but not in, the, yes. not in the organized way. Did you get involved in the censorship fights? Um, there were some on your show, weren't there? Didn't they cut a big number one time that was too sexy or something? Yes, that, uh, Rick, Raquel Welsh and I were friends before that number. And then after that number, we were no longer friends. But there wasn't anything that I could do because she was touching herself, you know? And she's got so much to touch that uh, <laughs> they got very nervous it's and cut out the number. It's hard for her not to, isn't yes. it? Yeah. Uh, and, and the censor said that's too erotic? Too, yes. Yeah, that, whose idea was it then, I mean, whose job was it then to fight for it? Did Sonny have to go and, and meet with them and No, say this was the Cher show, so it wasn't. But I oh, called okay. Freddie Silverman. I, I did as much as I could, but, you know, it's crazy. Why would she not be friends with you as a result of that? Because she thought that I had something to do with it and thought that I could have saved the number, but I just couldn't. I mean, you know, I, I did what I could and I couldn't do it. Yeah. But I mean, I had a lot, and I had, they cut numbers on me. I mean, they wouldn't let me say lover in a sketch. I had to say boyfriend. And I said, what is the difference? Mm -hmm. Well, did they, didn't they see things at rehearsal? I mean, shouldn't they have seen that Raquel was, or did she <laughs> fail to touch herself at rehearsal? Well, I guess she failed to touch herself. Well, she was wearing something different in rehearsal than she wore on the, on the actual filming. Mm -hmm. It's funny to think of the language Bar barriers that there were back then. There? I can remember I when I... was the first woman to show her belly button on television. That doesn't oh, seem like a big thing. Lord, I forgot that. Yes. <laughs> it's the biggest news since... That will probably be on my, on my tombstone, no matter what else I do. That'll That's be right. it. Right. You're the woman who broke the belly button right. barrier right. in television. <laughs> and yet you haven't seen that many of them since, as I recall. I no, guess but you see... Right, though see everything else. Has anyone ever explained what is obscene about the belly button? 
Doesn't almost everybody it's have one? It's the gateway one? to something more, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> First the belly button, tomorrow God knows what oh, else. Yes, it's the, it's the sequence right. theory of right. uh, conspiracy theory or, or whatever. It's, I, they used to give me really a hassle all the time with everything that I wore. And then right after Charlie's Angels went on, and I mean, I, you know, it was mm -hmm. like everything was showing. Today, the, those things look conservative in the, uh, yes. is, the show's in syndication and reruns, I think, isn't it? Yeah. Are, are you superstitious at all? It seems to me almost everybody in the business is. No. That's a relief. I figure what's going to happen is going to happen one way or another. Sandy Dennis tell you that she and I were in high school together? No, but you did. <laughs> did, I <laughs> did I tell you a number of times? No, well, you just told me once, and I, and I asked you, oh, what was she like? That's right, it seems like months ago. That's yes, right. it was only 10 minutes. Sa <laughs> Sandy and I, no, I was not, now tell the truth. It, it was, was 40 well minutes 40 ago. 40 minutes ago. All right. Right. Well, I know when yeah, you get older, right. things you lose your perspective. Yeah, time begins to telescope after a while. Sandy and I were maybe the only two people in Lincoln High School in Lincoln, Nebraska, who consistently could not get a date or sat home on Saturday night and watched show of shows while everybody else went to football games and stuff. But don't you believe... I mean, we didn't know each other. I know, but, but don't you believe that... I know a lot of people that weren't popular in school or weren't the you know, the considered beauty or whatever, but mm -hmm. it really spurs people on to do, to achieve things, you know? I mean, a lot of those football players are sitting at home now, you know, drinking yeah. beer, watching television. Do you buy that? Do you think if you'd been born into a sort of normal middle-class family and been the cheerleader and queen of the May and I think so, because class, I've always, I have, have to been... prove myself constantly just to make sure that I'm doing something. Do you think you're attractive? In a strange sort of a way. Is it really? Yes. Yeah. You are, I can assure you. I just don't, I don't want to cast anything. You have to have large breasts in this play, don't you? Yes. <laughs> Is it true that weightlifting can... can... What I mean, are you unless, gonna... unless I could bench press a thousand pounds. <laughs> Is that something odd to get used to? Because I, you, I think you, I guess you wear rubber yes. padding or something yes, I to, do. to suddenly have. Yes, because to be I go to fold my arms. Before. Now here, you know, I've got no problem folding my arms. When I mm. fold my arms on these guys, my arms are like up there. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I'm a Russian Cossack or something all the time. <laughs> well, you aren't a Cossack, but you are delightful. And can you tell from that corny wording that we've come that to the end yes, of another half of time hour? again. Thank you, Sharon. Please, please come back. And why have you had your fingers crossed through all of these <laughs> lies you've been feeding? <laughs> See you next time.